Hi, my name is Janae Lee, and I am currently a junior at Cal State San Bernardino. Before attending Cal State San Bernardino, I went to UCR for two years. I was a bio major at UCR, and um, I went to different counselors to get a feel at what health career I wanted to do um, while being at UCR. My counselor decided that UCR wasn't the school for me because I would either have to complete the major and go to a nursing school after, because I decided I wanted to do nursing, or I would have to um, transfer to a nursing school right then. That's when I decided to transfer to Cal State San Bernardino. Me not being motivated in college allowed me to procrastinate more than I should have procrastinated. While being at UCR and transferring to Cal State San Bernardino, it should have helped me to want to be motivated to graduate from college sooner. But because of my four year wait and transferring without many units going towards nursing, I procrastinated to the point where I wasn't doing well in school. These experiences helped me to see that me not doing well in school is not gonna help me get to where I wanna go as far as nursing goes. So I have learned throughout this class and throughout my experiences that I need to stay motivated, need to stay focused while in school so that I can um, achieve my career goals as far as nursing goes. My name is Janae Lee and these are my experiences. Hi, my name is Fernando and I'm a sophomore here at Cal State San Bernardino. I'm gonna talk about my experience here. Uh, my first quarter here, I was, I did pretty good. Uh, I was kind of lazy, but I actually passed all my classes. My second quarter here, um, I did not do as great as I thought I was, but I actually passed all my classes. I thought I would do better like my first quarter, but I actually didn't do as well as I thought I would. And I, now looking back, I actually see that it was my fault for going with my friends and hanging out with them all the time and being lazy and not actually focusing on on my work and putting my priorities straight. During my third quarter, I did not pass all my classes. I did really bad. I only passed one class and because of that I actually had really bad consequences which was not actually being able to get financial aid for the next quarter. I wasn't able to register for classes for this quarter and I had to do a lot of things in order to register for this quarter because I wasn't not given financial aid I had to go to financial aid and fill out paperwork and that took a while and because that took a while I wasn't able to register for this quarter and I wasn't even sure I was even going to come for this quarter because they took too long for that and after that, like I had to actually get everything in order and have my priorities straight and know what I had to do first. Like, first of all, I had to go to financial aid like every day and tell them that I had to had this done like as soon as possible so I can come for this quarter. And this quarter, I actually have to uh, start doing all my work and put my priorities straight and not put my friends first and put just being lazy and doing other stuff and not actually doing my work at all. So now that I'm registered here for this quarter, I actually feel confident that I'm actually going to pass all my classes, especially the hard one that I have for chemistry. I think that was really hard, but I know I'm going to pass that class because I, if I don't, then I won't be able to come for next quarter. So hopefully everything does go well and I know what I have to do, putting my priorities straight and not thinking that my friends are more important than my schoolwork. My name is Fernando and this is my experience at Cal State San Bernardino and I'm a sophomore here at Cal State San Bernardino. I'm here to share with you guys what I've gone through and learned during this whole experience. After the first quarter, after my first quarter and realizing that I didn't have to try as hard to get good grades, I decided to slack off even more. I started hanging out with friends more. I started ditching class. I started partying and I got bad grades for it. After my second quarter, I still didn't wake up and realize what I had done to myself and partied even more, hung out with friends more, I slacked off more, and I just ended up screwing myself over. I didn't realize how I was messing myself over. Um, I went through a lot of things with my ex-girlfriend. 
Um, I remember when we first broke up, I got all my work that I was doing. I was working on my final essay and I just literally got all my work and I threw it on the ground and I said F this and I wasn't thinking of school. I was just thinking about her and how it was. I was hurt. Um, after that third quarter, I found an escape route from my parents. I moved back to my dad's house in Los Angeles because I knew I was going to be in a lot of trouble. I knew I had messed up and I was picking myself up again. I finally woke up. I realized what I needed to do. Um, I started you know, working on myself. I worked on the relationship with my ex-girlfriend. We got back together. I stopped hanging out with my bad friends and got better friends. I started talking about my problems more and I knew that I needed a change. I had all my answers, but I just knew I had to put the effort in. And that's something that was hard for me because I was so used to being bad and I needed to work on me being better and thinking about myself other than uh, thinking about other people. After moving back home to Lake Arrowhead, I realized that I worked on myself. I took a lot of baby steps in order to better myself. I put myself first. And my advice to anyone is to put themselves first, think of themselves, love themselves. And just everybody has answers on how to fix a problem. You just need to put the effort in to actually better yourself. So I'm Luis and this is my experience. Hey guys, my name is Joel. I'm a third year here at Cal State San Bernardino. And you know, every one of us goes through a little bit of a rough patch in our life, especially in college. If we're struggling with procrastination, not going to class, being not as motivated as we used to, especially coming into college and having people back to back us up. I know I have had that problem. I know with procrastination in school, especially during my first two years on campus, I procrastinated a lot. It's a study habit that I had developed that's not a very good one and very hard to break. I know not going to class was one of my biggest issues in my first two years, but you know what? Somehow I was able to pull through, but now what I've done is I tend to remind myself what happens if I don't go to class. I know that procrastinating to the very last minute is something that I shouldn't do, yet I still do, but I'm working on it by making sure I can get my papers done on time, making sure I try and back up all my stuff on my laptop just to make sure that I can have copies of it in case anything happens last minute. I know that being an attorney is something else that I've struggled with here in college, with not going to class, with getting too lazy to hang out with everyone else, but you know, being in a fraternity means that I have to be a better person and I know that sometimes I may not live up to that standard, sometimes I do, but it's something that I've learned that I've learned to balance throughout all my quarters. I know that going to school and becoming a better man within myself is something that I personally stand for with my fraternity and it's been some kind of a journey for me, especially with having a close bond with all these guys who are there to help me when I need help to be better in school to actually go to class, to do my homework, and whenever I need help, they're there for me. I know that throughout all my struggles here in college, I've messed up a lot in school. I could have done a lot better, but you know, now that I'm in my third year, I'm a lot more wiser. I know the choices that I can make and the choices I shouldn't make, especially partying the night before a finals exam or actually even going out with friends in general. I know that studying all throughout finals is something that I tend to do a lot more now. And you know, I have my friends to back me up and I have people to back me up. And that's all that really matters to me is doing better in school. My name is Joe and this is my personal experience at Cal State San Marino.